last goal we focus on today is Laudato Si Goal 7, Community Engagement and Participatory Action. We are called to be compassionate against the epidemic of indifference. We often at times are indifferent to those who lack what we possess. While James addresses the rich, it is necessary we consider what we overlook, which, to some, is riches, a place to sleep, clothes to wear, food to eat, modes of transport, and such. These things may not seem much, but they are treasures to those who sleep in the streets, who go to bed hungry, who have no means to contact family from refugee camps, who track long distances to access basic needs of clean water and healthcare. We are often apathetic to those who lack what we take for granted. And the Lord urges us in today's gospel to think of such people. If anyone gives you a cup of water to drink just because you belong to Christ, then I tell you solemnly, he will most certainly not lose his reward. In a world of religious diversity and political divide, we are asked to look at the person and their needs. We may not know their names, but realizing their needs allows us to see their humanity underneath the prejudices we have been taught. With the challenges the COVID-19 pandemic brought, especially the challenge of isolation and living actively in community, we have learned resilience and what can be achieved by communities compassionately coming together. We have also learned that at times communities need support and coordination. Laudato Si calls us to be communities of action at the local, regional, national and international levels. Everyone's participation is needed if we are to care effectively for our common home. Pope Francis encourages us incessantly that local individuals and groups can make a real difference. Therefore, by journeying together as pilgrim people, our struggle for justice, healing and inclusion will surely bear fruit. God of love, you take delight in your people and draw us closer in relationship with one another. Lead us on life's journey through creation. Bless our families, educational institutions, parishes, hospitals, businesses, and members of our religious orders and communities. Invite us to develop the longing for global solidarity. Act justly in the face of injustice and walk humbly in your ways. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Get involved in ecological events during Laudato Sea Week or during the season of creation. Attend a class or workshop about how to care for creation. Write to your local MP or council about local environmental issues. 